trails, they take a little bit. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> What's up dudes, Chooch, out here riding the B-Goat EXN. Now this is a really, really high performance electric unicycle. This Man, is, is the first EXN. Idea. This was the original one when it first came out. This uh, wheel has been really good. So in the whole world of electric unicycles, this one has been top notch. I've had many, many different unicycles over about seven and a half years of riding. And this one has been completely problem free for about a year and a half. I literally have done no maintenance to it. And that's the incredible thing with these electric vehicles like this. And these electric unicycles. Is how much joy you can get, how much you can go ride, and how little maintenance you have to really do to the thing. There's not going to be any oil changes. There's not going to be, you know, cleaning air filters. There's not going to be tampering with carburetors, anything like that. It's just pretty much charge it up and go. And that is very unique to have. There's not really been a time in history where you've had something like this. You can just keep riding and riding and riding without doing a ton of maintenance to it. And the Bego DXN really, really shines for that. Now there's no mechanisms in this wheel for suspension. This is an electric unicycle that does not have suspension. And it is a heavier electric unicycle seen any of my prior videos riding trails and stuff like that where I might be on my M Super Pro or my old M Super X those were the wheels that were kind of like the RS19 before the RS19 came out so those were about a year or two before the RS19 and those are a lot more lightweight so this one has 2700 watt hours of power in it my M Super X has 1230 watt hours of power in it you can really, really understand where, see that watt hours is a lot of weight. So this wheel weighs about 80 pounds. The other wheels like the RS19, M Super X especially, is just super lightweight wheels. And that being the case, you can just whip it around through these trails, no problem. But you just simply don't have the range to go all day. The one thing I really like about the Beagle EXM is that I can go all day long for rides like this. I can go explore trails. I can ride to the trails. I rode all the way from my hotel I was staying at to these trails and then rode all the way back. Rode all the, the roads, the bike paths, the gravel roads. Literally went all day without ever checking my battery because I knew I have a really good idea of, you know, when I'm riding this wheel hard, if I'm riding it you know in a casual way I can really tell how much battery I'm draining on it and what I expect out of it now there's been two um, separate days where I've literally woke up in the morning and went all day of riding trails riding around towns riding around bike paths everything like that on this wheel and I have not run it dead and it's been unique situations because if you get on this wheel and you just go all out like straight on roadways and you're just burning you know it's this thing is it, it has a ton of battery power in it for such a compact form factor such a small size this thing really shines for that it has 20 set i'm pretty sure it has either yeah 2700 watt hours of power in it guys and so like for instance my veteran sherman that really heavy wheel with like the roll bar around it um, that wheel is 3200 watt hours and it's just cumbersome guys this wheel is getting right up there with the same amount of range but it's just a lot more nimble now it's not as nimble as an RS19 high torque or an RS high speed or either, even the V12 all those wheels you can really um, ride them in a way harder more aggressive fashion where you're whipping it you're jumping it um, everything like that because it's a lighter weight the thing you get with this wheel is it's, it takes a lot of core strength and it takes a, um, you know, it takes a little bit to adapt to. But if you can do it, 
it's a lot of fun and you don't have to worry about range at all so this is i call the exn the hybrid wheel because it really does everything very well the only thing i don't like about it though is on my short rides just my short commutes around town um, you know just run into the grocery store real quick or anything like that where you're not going to be riding all day you just don't need something this heavy so if you're predominantly a, a city rider you're getting it to commute back and forth to work to save on gas that's why i think the v12 is just a phenomenal wheel for the price because it's a great form factor it's not too heavy to take in and out of a car or take on public transportation or anything like that i just really think that is a good wheel for the typical person out there now doing trail riding and stuff like this is a really niche thing granted it is growing and seeing the off-road races and stuff like that the b goat master coming out the king song s22 we're really seeing the off-roading take hold with these electric, uni electric unicycles and trust me i like that but there's always going to be that huge huge you know group of people that's the predominant group that uses it to commute to work that uses it in the urban interface that uses it in the city and the trail riding thing is just going to have to grow in its own unique way i i really really think that the non-suspension wheels are going to be phased out for trail riding in the next year or so the reason I'm riding this one on the trails is because I've simply gotten used to it. It rides good and it's it, you can work with it. If you get your tire pressure right, you can really work with it. The only weird thing, guys, is this. This thing is 80 pounds. I'm about 140 pounds on a good day, so about 135 to 140. And the thing is, when this thing bucks up, whenever, whenever it hits a rock or spikes up in the air and I don't see it coming like you see me riding this and then if i see like a jump or anything i can kind of preload and jump with the wheel now the only problem you get on these non-suspension wheels is whenever you hit one of those rocks or a root or spike or anything like that uh, and it kind of bucks up under you without you expecting it now that's 80 pounds kind of jumping up under you as a 140 pound person so that's a lot of weight you know kind of working against you and that's where the suspension wheels really shine. I mean, it's just simply luxury, guys, having a full suspension electric unicycle because those little scenarios where it, it gets you, it catches you off guard, that little bump there, that little buck of that heavy wheel, it can be saved with that suspension. So I don't think, it, I don't think you need suspension. And, and on trails like this, these are relatively smooth trails, but all of them aren't like this. Once you get into the chunky trails, where it's like clay that's been eroded a little bit, you get rocks in there, all that type of stuff, on um, maybe like a, you know, an unmaintained trail or something that's just eroded out is where you have to have suspension. It's definitely doable, and you can get used to it with the right tire pressure on the right trails. But there is some out there, guys, that there's some trails that having suspension and not having it is just like having the suspension you can ride through with ease and like say if there was rocks and roots all through here and everything i mean it would simply just be too much on my knees to ride this wheel like this you see it being smooth right here this is almost where you would almost prefer a non-suspension wheel on a trail specifically like this just because there's um, I mean, it's all power to the wheel. There's no bucking around. It's just all power to the wheel straight on. But there is trails out there where you really do need that suspension. I'm glad it came out. And um, it's just, there, there's so many different wheels and so many different, um, just, I love it. I'm so glad there is different wheels for every person out there and every type of riding each person's gonna do. Um, this new tire I put on this wheel is everything. This is called the Shinko 244. I link it below because there's a lot of Shinko 244 tires out there for various dirt bikes and mopeds and stuff. The one I link below in my Amazon store, I have a full Amazon EUC store. I spent a ton of time picking out everything that I like for EUCs, whether it be uh, like flashlights to ride at night, whether it be the riding shoes, whether it be like pants, gear, knee pads, 
all that stuff and I even put in tires in there I started a new section for tires that all fit electric unicycles the two I have in there right now is the one that will fit the Shinko 244 will fit the EXN the Veteran Sherman the RS19 and various other wheels with that same wheel size now the other tire you see linked in that store is a off-road tire that someone else found that fits the V12. They linked it over to me and it's a tube and tire combination for about 40 bucks that fits your in-motion V12. And that's also linked in the Chooch Amazon store below. Check it out. Anything you get from that store, anything you see in there, it gives me a little kickback from the Amazon gig. It took forever to set that up. So check it out if you get a chance to do it. So I know E-Wheels has a, or they have high torque versions of this wheel in stock right now. One thing that I don't like about this wheel on these trails out here is you even see it whenever I'm, I'm in the end of this video, you're about to see it coming up right here. Uh, whenever I'm doing these switchbacks on this next trail, uh, the torque lacks on this wheel. You, I lean hard into it to compensate for it. Like it has an, enough power there, but I gotta lean so far forward into it in order to get this thing to go up some of these switchbacks. And it simply does not have the torque that like the Master has, or like the RS high torque, for example, or even the Inmotion V12 high torque. This thing, and especially once you add this bulkier tire to it, that is just one thing on the EXN that is just not a, a shining point, is the torque when you don't have a lot of speed going up your like switchbacks and stuff like that. If you lean hard enough, it goes, trust me. And if you're not like uh, over 200 pounds, it will take you up that hill no matter what. But like right here, like this is where you need torque. Like if I had the high torque version of the, of the EXN, it would just boost around these corners like it would literally boost right here and it would just be slinging dirt i mean literally slinging dirt and it'd be like a, a cloud of dust up this little uh, uphill section right here literally it would just be a full sin up this thing with no problem and if you want that if you want the high torque for these four trail riding if you want it to literally um take off up hills like a dirt bike on your trails even your steep uphills go with high torque it is going to suffer on the speed though guys you're not going to be able to get the that top end speed out of the exn now the exn is not the fastest wheel out there like i said it's the hybrid wheel it's quite fast it goes quite far it rides trails pretty damn good and it you know it's a quite robust wheel and it's really problem free like this they nailed it with this wheel being problem free that's the main thing with it is even this being the original exn that came out they've done nothing but upgrade the motherboards they've upgraded the, the actual like motor um assembly to the um foot pedals and everything it's all been upgraded the bearings have been upgraded so this wheel i like i said doesn't do every single department perfect but it does all of them really damn good Re i mean the two wheels i've been taking around everywhere are the inmotion v12 high torque and then the original exn like if, if y'all want to know like the two wheels i've been traveling with the takeout and i keep them switching out one charging and riding the other one so those are the two i've been rocking with if y'all really wanted to know Links below, pick one of these up. It gives me a small kickback and helps me keep bringing y'all videos like this. Anyways, it's been Chooch. I'll see you dudes in the next one.